like I'm an artist, so I want to take my talent and I want to paint it onto the canvas. Good morning, world. How is everyone? Happy Thursday, April 27th. The end of the month, guys. The end of the month. Holy moly. Anyone got big plans for the weekend? Do you have the weekend off of work or anything like that? I don't have any big plans this weekend. Um, getting out with my dogs again. I kind of skipped that last weekend a little bit. I took Aries out, but I didn't get the other two out for a walk like I wanted to. Um, let me get my timer set. All right. Of course, getting the goodies in me. Look at all that stuff. All this. I tore some off the top. GMO free, gluten free, plant based. Gut health right here. Oh, all the extra water, I forget. All right. I don't have any big plans this weekend. Like I said, getting out with my dogs, a little bit of gardening. I'm kind of hoping for a stormy weekend. There is some rain in the area whenever it hits. It hits. Um, it would be, I'm kind of up for a stormy weekend, so it would be great. Other than I do want to get out on a walk with my dogs in the morning. <laughs> then it can rain all day after that. Um, but otherwise, I don't have anything this weekend, work stuff, business stuff, personal stuff, writing. Um, next weekend, however, <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm just going to show you. I need a drink. Yeah. So... Real quick, I, when I first moved to Spring Hill, I lost two of my dogs. They were missing for like 34 days. Because of that, I decided to, well, I had wanted to volunteer. Because of that, I decided I wanted to volunteer at, with animals. So I started volunteer at the local Hernando Animal Service Shelter um, during 2020, I think it was. Nope. Maybe... Yeah, because we, oh, that's so weird. It's interesting to me how when I look back at time, it's just like uh, kind of a conjumbled mess. Like I'm thinking about 2020 and all the shit that shut down and we definitely impact, we definitely had that impact. But anyway, so I started volunteering, at, uh, got into a rabbit hole there. Sorry, started volunteering at the animal shelter there um, and was great. Well, since being there, I had started thinking about other animals that I want to be around and wondered if I could, I'm just going to say it, horses. Uh, I, uh, horses. I'd put my feelers out to some things, some area, stuff in the area, emails. I'd never heard anything back. And, and um, through a friend, Jeep friend, Jeep sister, um, I'm going to go help out with their horses next weekend. <laughs> Um, I actually remembered another person that I know that helped me while my dogs were missing that offered for that as well. And for whatever reason, I never followed up with them because they have 10 acres and horses as well. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm like a little kid, like, oh my God. <laughs> so I don't know why I never followed up with her. I'm going to have to do that. But I'm so thankful for my Jeep sister who is allowing me the opportunity to come scoop horse shit, probably. You know, that's just what you start out with, right? <laughs> because that's going to lead to... At least knowledge, because I do want horses when I have my own land. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. And now that I've spent four minutes talking about nothing, uh, it's not nothing, but <laughs> mental prep. To look forward, it says. <clears throat> oh, I don't totally agree with this first sentence. Looking back won't move you forward. Let the past go. Move on with the grace and wisdom that you've learned from every yesterday. Forgive yourself for everything. 
You can't change what didn't happen or shift what did. Instead, live in this moment and look for all the beautiful possibility that today is filled with. <laughs> Man, I swear, it, mind shift, it, it, a mindset shift, it, it is not easy, but I'm telling you, it is life changing. It's like magic. I, I don't. <laughs> I was thinking about it again because I don't remember what it was exactly, the example, the person, the situation, but just complain about everything. Just complain. And I'm like, look at what you're, look at what you're focused on. And so I kind of, in my mind, started going down that path. Let me focus on these things that are being complained about. And what, what does this feel like? What does this look like? Because I was that person. I, I, I've been there. And then I just started feeling icky. And I'm like, okay, started. I felt the swirl going down into the fucking depths of darkness. Thinking about, okay, accepting these complaints. And, you know, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Let's focus on, let, let me turn my focus on what I could do. What can I do? And then I felt myself coming up out of that hole <laughs> and feeling enlightened. It, it's, it is a dream come true if I could help anyone everyone as many people as I can and in many areas that I have done things but if it's the mindset shift that that would be I can't do it for you though right I can't I can't do it for you I can just tell you the experience that I've had in doing it and it is the best thing for your health. Let me just tell you, it's the best thing for your health. All right, I got to go. We Not go. We got just under four minutes left. We're going to read the Law of Attraction. Which one are we going with on this page? Oh, I think we're going to go with that one. This is perfect for going because mindset change is not... Hi, Miss Heaven. Um... Good morning. Give the babies my love. If you guys are watching, I love you all. Dakota, Raylan, Colton, Heaven, Chris, all of you. <laughs> okay, so this was just going into mindset shift. It is, it's a non-negotiable for me anymore. I'm always looking for that. If, is there a need for this mindset to be shifted somewhere, a different perspective to look at something um, because that's how I learn. But you have, it's not, it's simple, it's not easy. The tools that are there are simple, it's not easy. It's hard to change your mind, right? Hi, Ms. Raylin. <laughs> um, so it takes determination and persistence. And the law of attraction today says cultivate determination and persistent desire. <laughs> if you want success and financial prosperity in the business work area of your life, then you must hang on tenaciously to your dream and deeply focus your intention on having it. Oh, without a doubt. Know that you are not living in a zero-sum universe. When abundance comes to you, that does not mean it leaves someone else. We do not get abundant at the expense of others, right? There's enough for everyone. See your work as increasing the good in the lives of your coworkers and customers. Believe that your business transactions enrich the lives of others and never subtract from them. Yes, yes, yes. Yes to all of this. Oh my goodness. I got just under two minutes left. Persistence and determination. I can't tell you how I... I I definitely am a determined person, even though sometimes I don't lead with that. I don't, you know, I, I let that get kind of lost, I guess. But now I'm in a place, you know, people talk to me like going to the gym. You know, we go to the gym four days a week. I get up at 3.50 in the morning through the week. My alarm goes off at 3.50. I take my capsules. I snuggle with my dog for a minute. I get dressed for the gym. All the while, I'm either listening to the book that I'm listening to at that moment or some motivational video or Abraham Hicks or, you know, something of that sort. But 
A friend of mine asked me recently what my aversion was to watching TV because I don't watch TV really anymore. I, I don't, I have the urge to watch that, that movie feeling. Um, you know, let's watch a movie and get snacks and all that, but I don't, I can never one find a movie and definitely the snacks aren't, the, I just, okay, a movie's one thing, but at this point I can't really find a movie. Every time I go to look for it when I'm feeling that way, I'm not finding anything that's calling out to me. So I end up turning it off and moving on. But TV, TV programs, series with episodes, um, <clears throat> I just don't, I have no desire anymore. And um, that's because I have, I kind of got, I'm sorry, I guess, mm, I feel like my, my thoughts are getting away from me this morning. Because I have no time, because my time is non-refundable, my energy is non-refundable, I don't get that shit back. And so if I don't use it doing something to be productive, to make my dreams come true, then to me it is wasted. Because that television program did nothing for me in any way. I can get the same joy, better joy, by going on a walk with my dog, which I don't do nearly enough, that's why. So that's what she said to me. You schedule, you seem to schedule so many things because it makes my brain work better. It makes me more productive because when I know what I have to do, I know what time I have, I, I, I feel less anxious. This is what I got to do today. This is what I, in this way too, I actually take the steps. I don't feel so overwhelmed with, I got all this stuff when I don't set an alarm or I don't schedule something, um, or have some structure to the day to some degree on the weekends. It's not as structured as during the week, but then I just feel scattered and I feel like, Oh, kind of like I have all this time and all these things, but I don't know where to start, but I've got all this time. So I'll start later. And it, I just swim in that fucking mess of nothingness and what I want to do and what I need to do and the time I have to do it, nothing gets done. So when I started using my calendar and a schedule and timers and alarms, I became fucking productive and less anxious and my brain got clearer and I could think about the things that I really wanted to do and understand that, wow, I do have dreams. I do have dreams. That's how I learned that I had dreams in the last two to three years. I never even knew that I had dreams. I never even, I didn't know that I was too busy surviving, period. Literally just came to me in the last two to three years, sitting here doing work. My entire life I have literally been surviving, just head down, focused on just staying alive and keeping the people in my life alive. And when that shifted for me, partially was because I was doing schedules and things. It, 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 I realized, what do I want to do with my life? What do I want to do? <laughs> so I am persistent and determined to make something out of the hell that I came from and to show my children and my grandchildren that doesn't matter where you come or what you got now, you start now and you can change and make great things happen. Don't believe me, just watch. I could go on about this, but I've already went over <laughs> after my alarm, so I'm gonna go do my, I'm gonna wrap it up and go, and it's time for me to do my I am's and my gratitudes. Um, don't be afraid to do something different, even if it seems weird, you know, gosh, it seems so rigid using a calendar and alarms, but it's helped me to be so fucking productive that it's a non-negotiable for me now. Even scheduling my downtime, a weekend where I wrote on here, no plans because I needed that downtime. I've gotten so much more done that way. So nothing changes if nothing changes, period. I got to go do my I am's and my gratitude and my brain dump writing. Oh, excuse me. I encourage you guys to do the same thing. Find change something in your life. Something start small, start small. 
Only you can decide what that is for you. The things that I do are things that I've taken from millionaires, books, you know. What, over, yeah, so because these are people who have what I want on some level. So take what you want, leave the rest. But I, at the very least, I encourage you to take a few minutes every day to sit in gratitude. Find five. Whoops. Ah, I screwed that all up. Take five minutes, find five things that you're grateful for that happened in the last 24 hours. What happened that you're grateful for? I'd love to know. Do it with your kids. Ask them what they're grateful for. Teach them that now. Teach them that now. What are you grateful for? What am I grateful for today? I have to be stuck in my courage. This week, it is a week of courage for me. I am grateful for the courage to be open to exploring who I am, to learning who I am, to doing that with all of you because it's not easy in and of itself. And I don't, I do know why. I want to say I don't know why I want to do it, but I do know why because there's people like me out there somewhere who needs a little light and says, wow, if this bitch can do it, so can I. I've had people actually tell me that. I did this because I told myself, if Charlene can do it, so can I. I, I if, if I died tomorrow, I don't want to. I have no desire to. I would be happy in knowing that I've changed lives in that respect. Go sit in your gratitude every day. Do it with your kids. Do it with your spouse. Do it with your pets. Do it with your plants. Do it with your food. Remember, we are energetic beings. We are made of energy, and that energy is going out to you. And so whatever is going out from you, and if you focus on what that energy is, your life is going to change. All right, I'm out. I got to go. Go sit in your gratitude. I will see you all tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. And as always, peace and love.